administration and I are going to be headed over to the theme park around 5 p.m. We just got word that the President of the United States is coming to Las Vegas to tour our Spy Ninjas theme park. And it's all because of this guy right here. Justin, seriously, that's happening? I do what I can, you know? You're talking about Joe Biden? My fellow Americans. The, he was the President last I checked. Justin, why would the President be coming to Las Vegas? Yeah, have you guys not been keeping up to speed with the news? He's landing right now. Daniel, turn the TV to the news. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. comes in. President arrives in Las Vegas. I told you he was on his way. We cannot miss out on this opportunity. If we get the presidential seal of approval on this place, he is going to open one in every state. We need to impress him. But Justin, we're in Phoenix, Arizona right now. I'm getting radiation treatment. I can't go there to meet with the president. And, and I have to be here to take care of Chad for radiation. He's, he's landing right now. He's landing. The United States of America. The Biden administration said that they were going to call you guys right after they land. Explain the situation to them. They're going to call one of us? Who? Chad? Where's this my phone? Oh, he's v- v- got my phone. Have you ever talked to a president before? No. no. My heart is like pumping really fast. He's this landing is- right now. This is insane. Okay, what are we gonna do, guys? Um, I can't miss my radiation appointment. It's very important. So I can't go to Vegas today. If I miss my radiation treatment, that's gonna ruin the whole cancer treatment process. Daniel, you can do it, right? There he is. That's him. Dude, he really is in Las Vegas. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Who's that behind him? She's the gal who makes sure he doesn't fall down the stairs. Oh yeah, he has trouble with that sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So Daniel, you gotta get to Las Vegas and meet with President Biden pretty much right now. You want me to be the guy who gives a tour to him? Well, yeah. I think you're the only person that's available, Daniel. I'm gonna blow it. I, no. I can't impress. You guys know way more about the theme park than I do. You're the one building it, Chad. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. If we, if we get one in every state, that means people can go there all the time. That'd be amazing. It is. You know, oh my okay, God. Daniel, take the camera. Take the camera. Take the oh camera. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna answer it. Oh Can you put it on the speaker? Uh, hello, this is Chad Wild Clay. Hello, this is the secretary of the president of the United States. Is now a good time for me to patch President Joe Biden through? Yes, yeah, yes, we are available now. Excellent, coming right through. Thank you. Oh my God. What the heck? Okay, run hold. Well, good morning. Am I speaking to? Uh... Chad Wild Clay? Yes, uh, Mr. President. Um, do we, we are very excited to have you here in Las Vegas. Hey, listen, I'm excited too. Um, Spy Ninjas HQ, am I saying that right? Yes, that is the name of our theme park. Hey, it lines up perfectly with the President's Council on Sports, PCFSN. We're trying to promote Americans of all ages to participate in sports and activities. My administration and I are going to be headed over to the theme park around 5 p.m. 5 5 p.m. Okay, Okay. yes, we can make that work. We're very excited to have these open all across the country to help make America fit. All right, well, I'm looking forward to it, Mr. Clay, and hopefully if all goes well, we can open up 50 more of these across America. Thank you, Mr. President. We will see you at 5 o'clock. Blew it. Not nice. No. I, I suck. I don't know. I didn't do a good job. I he's, think it sounded good. I think it's good because he's like the Mr. President. He's not going to be like, yeah, like us, you know. He's going to be many, calm yeah. oh, and composed and professional. He has so many meetings all the time. Oh my gosh. Am I even going to make the flight? Look at the yeah, rain. Just, like, we need to really impress him. This might be like the most important meeting you've ever had in your life. Daniel, you have a pimple. You got a pimple, Daniel. Right there. Don't touch it. You're gonna make it worse. Oh, do you have some makeup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some I concealer. Can't leave President Biden with a pimple. You're gonna make it worse. Oh, do you have some makeup? V's getting back to her beauty days where she put makeup on. <laughs> Why'd you? Was it ticklish? It tickled. Oh wow, that doesn't match your skin at all. Hey, ready there. to meet the president? I guess. There. Yes, it's gone now, right? Kind of. What? What's he doing <laughs> sitting like that? I missed the part where that's my problem. Keys, wallet, watch. Oh, I don't want to go in there. It's messy. I'm not going in. I'm a married woman. I can't see unmentionables of other men. Good call, V. Oh! oh! It an accident, lady! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. That's all I need. Good luck, man. All right. Bring it in. You got this, Daniel. Thank you got you. this. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Don't, don't do that to pre- president. President, yeah, yeah, don't do that. Hey, yeah. yeah. Okay. See you, Daniel. I'm gonna call him. What if he doesn't like the theme park? It's not even built yet. We're not there. You're the one that's designing it, so you know all the ins and outs of it, and Brian's well, not there. I haven't seen it in like, I don't know, a couple weeks. Last I saw it, it was like 25% done. So I don't think the president's gonna be impressed. Hopefully Daniel gets there, and he can give us a little preview first and just kind of prep for it. Well, I'll be the one in Daniel's ear telling him what to say. Exactly. Maybe 
Daniel. Oh! The video text message from Bert. Wait, wait. That's our theme park. It's snowing. It's snowing in Las Vegas? This is not good. No, the weather. Wait, it's so windy. Dude, all of our stuff's blowing all over. The inside's not ready. Now the outside looks disastrous. Man, the president's gonna show up and he's gonna be like, this is a disaster. I'm not opening more of these across the country. Man, Daniel, I hope he gets there so he can kind of fix this. Okay, landed in Vegas. It looks like it just like snowed or something. What's going on? All right, Chad and V, can you hear me? Hello, Daniel. I'm just so nervous. What do I, what do I even like call him? Do I call him Joe? Do I call him Biden? M Mr. Mr. President. President. Mr. President, okay. Daniel, you're being really nervous right now. You can't be nervous because if this goes well, if Joe Biden likes the theme park, he's gonna open one in every state. So no matter where you live, you'll be able to go to a theme park. Wait, guys, guys, I'm getting a call. Uh oh, is it, is it Joe Biden? Mr. President, I mean? Washington, Washington, Washington D.C. call. I think this is him. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. If you get nervous, oh we'll God. talk you through it. This is the Secretary of the President of the United States. Is now a good time for me to patch President Joe Biden through? Yeah, uh, I'm ready. Excellent. Coming right through. Oh my gosh. My heart's beating so fast. Well, hello there. Am I speaking to the Spy Ninjas? Yes, this is the Spy Ninjas. This is Daniel Gizmo. Daniel Gizmo. I was under the impression that I would be meeting Chad Wild Clay and Vi Quaint. Yeah, yeah, Mr. President. Uh, they are not available right now. They are in Arizona. So, but I'm here in Vegas. So I, I will be doing the tour. All right, Daniel. Tell you what. Let's just get started on this thing. I can see you. Let's just do a digital tour with the phone. Running a little bit late because of the weather. Crazy weather, I tell you. Yeah. For now, we can do the virtual tour, and then. I'll be, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm so nervous, it's, it's quite an honor to be talking to you, um, but yeah, we can start the virtual tour right now. Can you see this? Yes, I see a glass door, looks like the front of a building. Alright, well, Mr. President, introducing the world's first YouTuber theme park, Spy Ninjas HQ. Here it is. Whoa! Oh my gosh. What? Whoa. Dude, that's the zip line. So Mr. President, it probably doesn't do it justice on video, but once you get here, I don't know, I think you'll be very impressed. Daniel, 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 hold up now, hold up a second here. What I'm seeing is still under construction. Now, I was under the impression that this would be closer to being complete. I'm a little confused. Oh, well, oh. Let me tell, let me tell them. Um, well, to tell them it's, it's advancing quick, like, 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 tell them a week ago. It wasn't even built yet, it's going really fast. Yeah, Mr. President, it actually, it is, being close to being completed because you should see in this place a week ago, this wasn't even here. So it's going up really fast now. Okay, but when you're telling me stuff like this, it doesn't seem close to done. So when can I expect this to be complete? Uh, oh, I don't know. Well, originally it was gonna be March 10th, but now? Damn, 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 come in. Just tell him it's gonna open in like three to four months from today. Just tell him it's gonna open from today. Wait. Daniel, are you there? Hey, uh, Mr. President, can you, uh, I'm having um, technical difficulties with the connection. Three to four months from today. Today. It's gonna open today, actually. actually. No! What? Daniel, today, not, excuse not today. me? Three to four months from today, Daniel. It's gonna open three to four months from today, probably. Oh, okay, that makes much more sense. And don't worry about it, I mumble up my words too sometimes. <laughs> anyway, show me what's next. Um, so this will be, look, this is um, the ropes course up here. People of all ages can come to the Spy Ninjas HQ and they can walk on these ropes courses and it's pretty scary. It'll get your heart racing, it gets the blood flowing, makes people be able to face their fears and stay active. Wow, that, that was actually really good. We didn't have to tell him yeah. to say that. Good, good job, job, Daniel. Good job, Daniel. See, now we're talking, this is exactly what we need. You know, we're trying to promote, encourage, and motivate Americans of all ages to become more physically fit and active. So. This is looking great. Show him there's way more cool things than just zip line and ropes course. We have a trampoline park. Yeah, yeah show, him the, show him the trampolines. This is new to me too, so we're gonna be experiencing this for the first time. This is the trampoline area. Whoa! Whoa! That tower! A trampoline so tower. So that's like a tower of trampolines there. Still under construction, but here is where a bunch of trampolines are gonna be. Whoa. Yeah, the tramp wall. Tramp wall right there. Huh, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Daniel. Looking at this right now, it, it's just, it's hard for me to imagine since it's under construction. Are you sure this is gonna turn into something that'll help keep the youth fit? 
Definitely, Mr. President, because I know for me, if I jump for like one minute, I am out of breath, my heart is racing, I am burning off calories, like, and there's gonna be so many trampolines here, I think it will be a great way to make everybody who comes here active. Dang them. Show them the trampoline socks. Okay, so Mr. President, part of the Spy Ninjas branding is every time somebody comes into the Spy Ninjas HQ, they will be able to get some socks. Now hold up a second, young man. Are you telling me that when people enter the theme park, they have to not only remove their shoes, but also remove their socks and then replace them with different socks? Am I understanding this correctly? That's how it usually is at trampoline parks. And it's cool, because Listen, Daniel, can I'm sorry, I'm not a big fan of the sock idea. So here's the deal. To me, it feels like a barrier of entry. Insurance requires it to keep kids safe. It's just, well, with this theme park, it's about insurance to keep kids safe. Oh, uh, okay, it's making a little more sense to me now. All right, now let me ask you this. How many Americans can we get through your facility? I think it's 30,000. What? A, a thousand people per day. How many hours are we gonna be open? We can get at least a thousand people a day, six days a week. Six days a week? We're at about 12. 26,000 per month. 26? Um, probably about 26, I would say. Thousand! thousand. Hold up a second, 26? That's not very many, young man. 26. 26,000, Daniel! Oh, I'm sorry, I meant, I meant 26,000. 26,000, okay, that's more like it. So let me do the math here. If we can open up 50 of these steam parks, 26,000, that would mean 1.6 million Americans every single day are getting more physically fit. Okay, so trampolines and a ropes course, surely you must have more activities. Oh yes, there's, there's gonna be tons of stuff to do here. Even over here, we got some really crazy tubing going on. And then also over here is going to be the ninja tag area. Look at all this, this is so cool. That looks like a lot of climbing. Yep. Um, Can you demonstrate it for me, Daniel? Sure. So if people want to be like Daniel Gizmo, they can come to the blue section, they can climb up these things. Now, young man, you said you're the blue spy ninja, correct? Uh, is that because you're always in a constant state of blue? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no Mr. President. He did not say that. Mr. President did not say that. No, I just, I don't know, blue was my favorite color, so, um... I picked blue. Good recovery, Daniel. Can... Keep it family friendly. When this opens up, there's gonna be this really scary, clear bridge that you have to walk over. It's not ready yet. We tested it and it was very flimsy. Oh my gosh. Do you think it's safe to cross? I don't or will know. it crack? Young man, if that glass bridge is not ready for you, then it's not ready for America. If I'm gonna open up 50 more theme parks, I'm gonna have to see you walk across that thing. Oh, yeah. I can definitely do it. I don't know if it's been tested, Daniel. So, Mr. President, as people walk over, It'll be very scary, and that's part of the fun here at Spy Ninja HQ. It's part of the experience. It's part of the experience here because people get to... It gets your heart racing. It burns calories. And it burns calories, too. He's making it be. It's bending, though. What's that sound? It sounds like it's cracking. Oh, my gosh. And then it's really, you can see you're really far up above everything but obviously when it gets installed like better it'll be safer so there you go there's there's a demonstration good job daniel now i remember you mentioning a zip line yes is is it safe for daniel to go on the zip line i have no idea i mean we weren't there i can test the zip line oh no no no, no, no. And, sh and show you I can show you how it works. So, Mr. President, up here is going to be a bunch of like restaurants and like escape rooms. And then, of course, yes, the zip line. We're up really high right now. So, you will enter through these doors. So, that's the ropes course. So, you can go up there. That looks dope. This is going to be so fun, but it looks so scary. I mean, it all looks fantastic, but I want to see you get the zip line now. I would love to test it out, Mr. President, but unfortunately, it's one of those things where it's still under construction, so it's not quite ready yet. But once it opens, I am definitely looking forward to hopping on. It'd be fun to see you go on, too. Young man, it sounds like to me that this place is not ready for America if it's not ready for you. Why is Biden pressuring him so hard to do things? I mean, there's really, there's also nobody around right now to, uh, there'll, there'll be the experts here to hook you up, make sure you're secure. Right now, right now, it's just me, so I... Daniel, I thought you were the brave spun. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm... I'm known as like probably the least brave spy ninja, I feel like. So how do you know, uh, how did you hear about us and, and spy ninjas and everything? Well, my grandchildren watch the show, it's always on. I have so many grandchildren, I don't even remember their names sometimes. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. That's so cool to think, wow, the, the president's granddaughters and grandsons watch the spy ninjas, that's so cool. Tell them we said hi. Young man, your bravery is reminding me of my five-year-old granddaughter. 
She is so not brave. You are really making a mockery of yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, but Mr. President, you should look at the fruit chopping stations. So what Chad and B used to do is that they would vlog themselves chopping up f watermelons and stuff. And they'd put googly eyes on the watermelons and the sodas. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What? You said the spy ninjas invented that? Chopping up watermelons and putting googly eyes on yeah. them? Yeah, definitely. We, yeah, we've been doing that since 2017. 17. Well, I'm just a little confused because I'm pretty sure I saw the Ninja Turtles doing that latest movie trailer. What? You guys weren't copying them, are you? I don't know. I didn't see this. We're, we're going to pull it up and watch it, Daniel. Oh, yeah, Whoa. look. Whoa. They're vlogging. There's a record. It's recording. There's a watermelon. <gasps> watermelon. He threw it in the air and sliced it. Just like we do. Young man, young man, hold up, hold up. I've been noticing you keep putting your hands near your ear. Are you wearing an earpiece right now? Yeah, you can't lie. Um, maybe no. I should tell the truth, uh, Daniel. Because we're all about honesty with the spy ninjas. Mr. President, I'll be honest with you, yes. Um, since Chad and V couldn't be here in Las Vegas to give you this tour, they are like telling me what to say in the earpieces. Young man, so everything you've been telling me today is not your own words? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, I, I have been like actually telling you what I think about the theme park and the things I know. There's some times where I, I kind of slip up and that's when Chad tells me what to say. So you're telling me you're a liar? No, no, I wouldn't say lying, I just... I, I, I was just trying to make a good impression. You're a liar. You're lying to me. Okay, listen, 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 young man, young man. If you want me to open up 50 theme parks, you're going to have to fess up right now and admit that you're a liar. Daniel, well, technically I you're mean, not lying. No, but maybe he should just say he's lying. I don't know. I, I don't know, Dan. I, I want, these, I want yeah, all these I, locations built, though. I am, I am a liar. I do lie, lie sometimes, lie. Mr. President. Good job, young man. Now I want you to take out that earpiece and smash it on the ground. Just step on it, destroy it. Smash it? I'll, I'll take the earpieces out. I'm, I'm very sorry. Mr. President, can you, can you still hear me? Yes, yes. I'm still worked up about the socks. I'm just concerned that these socks are not going to be able to fit people correctly. So, young man, I'm going to need you to remove your shoes and show me those feet. What, why, would he, what? why would he say that? Joe Biden, the president, will not say that, Daniel. Daniel! He can't hear you anymore. He took his earpiece out. Okay, Mr. President, I can definitely show you what it looks like. Mr. President, they kind of just, you know, when you come in, pick a color that you want. I'm going to go with the V Pink Diamond logo. No, 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 no. It's, it's not about the socks, per se. It's more about the Americans out there that have strange looking your feet. The president really wants to see his feet. What the heck? Take the cool socks. Young man, put those socks down now. Show me your feet. <laughs> Mr. President, you want me to just go like this? Yes, that's right, that's right. Yeah, now that's more what I'm talking about. That's nice. Those feet look delicious. This is, I don't, abort Daniel. I don't know what this is. No, Mr. Gizmo, let me ask you this. So I work closely with the American Association of Plumbers at the theme park. Will plumbers be allowed to get physically fit there? Plumbers can de- anybody can come to Spy Ninjas HQ, including plumbers, of course. Now the thing with plumbers, as you know, is that they tend to bend over when they're doing the job and we get a nice sneak peek of that butt crack. So I'm wondering if you can kind of demonstrate that, pretend you're a plumber at the park. What would that look like? Mr. President, the videos we make on YouTube are, you know, they're not like that. They're more like family friendly. Listen, Jack, if you don't want to show me your butt crack, then fine. But I think you deserve a spanking. So come outside. I'm pulling up to the theme park right now. Come meet me. You here? Let me spank those buns. Which entrance? The main Over entrance? Over here. I literally, I'm looking right at you, Daniel. I'm over here. Oh, is that, I see somebody standing next to the office of HQ. Daniel, Hello? you're losing connection, Daniel. Walk, walk back to the building. Yeah, our Wi-Fi is not that great yet. Is that you? I think I, I think I see you. He's uh, frozen. He's frozen. Uh, guys, what the heck is going on? We lost Daniel. Yeah. Uh, so, was that actually Joe Biden over there? I don't know. Why was, why would the president even talk like that? Well, hopefully Daniel calls back. While we're waiting for Daniel to call back, I'll give you guys an update on how radiation's going. Three weeks left, so we're at the halfway point right now. How are you feeling, Jen? Uh, the same. So, not worse, not better. When can we expect you to get better? I don't know. They said the tumors won't really shrink. Maybe it'll take a year for them to shrink. As long as they're not growing, that's good. Come on, Daniel, call back! I want to talk to Joe Biden. Is that him? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> President Biden, oh my goodness. 
Are you the one I've been talking to on the phone? That's right, that's who I am, Jack. You kept me standing here for five minutes and I was wondering where I was supposed to go. What kind of shampoo do you wear? You mind what? if I just take a little? <laughs> oh, that's good. Whatever that is, that's, that's very good. Who is under that mask? Yeah. Okay, wait, is, is President Biden actually almost here? I don't know. Justin, what the heck? I'm sorry. It's I'm just April Fool. Fun. It's April yeah. 1st right now? Well, of course, it's, yeah. I mean, I wasn't not going to try to fool you guys on April Fools. That's what? like the whole point. Chad and V, are you seeing this? Oh, shoot. I guess I got disconnected from them. How did you do the voice like so perfectly? Uh, I have a special tool. See how we've got Mr. Biden, uh, President Biden here on the side? Yeah. That's uh, part of the voice modulation uh, program here that what I'm using. What the heck? It's, it's AI. Voice AI. Isn't that crazy how good that works though? You are an expert April Fooler, Justin. Well, what do you say we try it again and like, you know, maybe give Chad and V a call, pretend to be President Trump or... <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, they don't, yeah, yeah. they were, they didn't see that it, it was Justin doing all this, so... Yeah, because you lost the connection, so we still have time to really like, you know, play up this April Fool. Oh. Uh, income unknown number. Oh. Guess I'll answer it. Audio call. Hello? Well, hello, Chad and V. It's me, Donald Trump, okay? Just wanted to go and say a couple things. I'm here at your theme park. I know Sleepy Joe was gonna head down here to check it out and try to open it up in some new locations, but we're gonna go much farther with it. We're gonna try to open it up in China, because that's the way we do it. President Trump? Is that you? Former President Trump, and about to be President Trump once again. That's correct. But I know that uh, Sleepy Joe, he was on his way over here, and he got lost. So I'm here now, and this is now gonna become the best park that was ever built in all of America and all of the world. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're at the Spy Ninjas HQ right now with Daniel? That's right, I'm at Trump Ninjas HQ right now with Daniel. He's standing right next to me. Okay. And must I say, Daniel is one heck of a handsome man. He has tremendous, uh, beautiful eyes. Oh my gosh, what a hunk. Is, Dan, is Daniel there? Can you can you put him on? Okay, you know what? What if we just, what if, let's just call Chad and V and, and show them that it was you the whole time. All right, well, it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call them. Wait, I'm getting another call. It's Daniel. Hey guys. Are you at the theme park with Donald Trump right now? Yeah, and, and, and President Biden's here too. They're both there? Yeah, yeah, do you, do you wanna see who, do you wanna see what they look like in real life? I do, I yeah, do. I do. Let, let's see, Daniel, let's show, show us who's, show us Donald Trump and Biden in real life. Here they are. April Fool! Oh, what? Justin! Justin! Did we actually talk to Joe Biden earlier or no? No, that wasn't him. That was Justin. The whole entire time? Wait, 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 wait. How, how did you sound exactly like him? This right here is a, is an AI voice impersonator. So. Wow, that's that's super cool. But it was still cool that you got me to come down into the theme park. It's looking amazing, Justin. You know, we're working really hard on it, but we also wanted to give you a very memorable April Fool's Day. So I hope that that qualifies. You fooled us for a little while, then we started to get suspicious. If you got fooled at all during this video, leave a comment below. All right, Daniel, get back here to Arizona. All right, I'm coming, guys. Davey.